Problem 43 of the current GRE math subject test practice book was only answered correctly by 27% of test takers. And it's a problem involving a second derivative and a parametric curve. So let's dive in and figure out what the issue was on this problem. Hey, welcome to today's video. I'm Prof Omar. And today we're gonna to discuss this problem of finding a second derivative for a parametric curve at a particular point. A lot of people got this problem incorrect, so let's dive in and see what the issues are in this problem. So the question is, you have a curve in the xy plane that's parametrically given by x is t squared plus 2t, and y is 3t to the fourth plus 4t cubed for all t positive. Find the second derivative of y with respect to x at the point 880. Now, the issue that we run into here is we don't have y as an explicit function of x, and honestly, when you take a course on multivariable calculus, it's hard to remember how to actually figure out what this quantity is. So I think the first thing I wanna do is just fiddle around with differentials to really see what this thing is in terms of expressing it as derivatives in T, and then go ahead and try to figure out what this problem is all about. So we're interested in finding out what the second derivative of Y is as a function of X. So let's start by first thinking about the first derivative. So we have y and x explicitly as parameters of a variable t, so we should rewrite this really as dy by dt over dx by dt. Now I understand this is kind of an abusive notation, but it's typically used in multivariable calculus, and it's a quick way for us to just get through this when we're working on the GRE mass subject test. So now we wanna know what the second derivative with respect to x is of this function. So that's d by dx of dy by dx. And when you're on the test, it's hard to actually remember what this is, um, recalling it from multivariable calculus. So what we'll do is think about this a different way, just try to express everything in terms of t, right? So here we don't have things in terms of t, but we can come close. We have d by dx of dy by dt over dx by dt, which we saw from this thing right over here. But this here is a function of t. It's not actually something we can differentiate with respect to x. But we can if we introduce a dt by dx. So what we really wanna do here is differentiate with respect to t, but we can't do that until we multiply here by a term that looks like dt over dx, but that doesn't kinda of make any sense because t is not a function of x but well, we can divide by the reciprocal here and get dx by dt. So now the second derivative that we're interested in is written explicitly in terms of first, in terms of derivatives of the variable t. It's d by dt of this quantity here, which we calculate in our first step, divided by dx by dt. So I'm gonna write this formula in the corner for us to use that we've developed. And again, when you're on the test, you wanna to try to massage your variables to get an explicit form like this in case you don't remember what exactly to do. Okay, so let's first use this formula to compute this inner derivative and then differentiate with respect to t afterward. So first of all, we have dy by dt, and that is 12t cubed plus 12t squared. And we're dividing by dx by dt, and that is 2t plus two. And we're given explicitly here that t is positive, so we can actually do the division here because the only issue we would have is if t was negative one where we have a zero denominator, but that's not the case. We see here that we have a common factor. We have a 12 t squared times t plus one on the numerator and a two times t plus one on the denominator. And factoring these, we get explicitly that the derivative quotient that we wanted is six t squared. Okay, so our second derivative is d by dt of this quantity right here divided by dx by dt. And dx by dt, again, is 2t plus two. So this gives us 12t all over 2t plus two. All right, so this is the derivative that we're interested in. 
is 12t all over 2t plus 2. And now our question is, what is this quantity at the point 880? So if you look at things parametrically here, our value x at this point is 8, which means our value of t satisfies that 8 is t squared plus 2t. So we need to figure out what t is in this case. Um, if we rearrange, we get t squared plus 2t minus 8 is 0, which we can factor the right-hand side into t plus 4 times t minus 2. Uh, okay, so the values of t that work here are t are negative 4 and t is 2, uh, but t is strictly positive, so we have to take the value t equals 2. And if we do that and plug it into our second derivative, we get 12 times 2 divided by 2 times 2 plus 2, which is 24 divided by 6, giving us a second derivative of 4. Okay, so back to the real question here. Why was this answer wrong by so many students? I think there are a few things that are going on. I think one of the big pieces is knowing that the second derivative actually satisfies this expression right over here. And the thing to do and to be careful of on this exam is when you have a variable, a set of variables that are defined parametrically, take your time, especially when you're dealing with second derivatives. Try to express things in terms of t carefully to figure out what the correct expression is for the derivative in terms of t when you're finding a derivative between two variables. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click the like button. If you'd like to see more videos like it, subscribe to the channel and click the bell button for notifications on future videos.